Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what Du syndrome is, its causes, genetic mutations, signs and symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment options. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link in the description section below and donate today. Your donation helps us make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. Du syndrome is a very rare type of epilepsy that affects children during early childhood. It was initially known as myoclonic aesthetic epilepsy and myoclonic atonic epilepsy. Back in 1989, the International League Against Epilepsy initially classified it as symptomatic generalized epilepsy. Considering it to be a much generalized form of epilepsy, managing it with medication seems difficult. When a child experiences myoclonic atonic seizures, the child could go limp. Children with Du syndrome could have other types of seizures as well namely tonic-clonic seizures, absent seizures, atonic seizures, non-convulsive status epileptus. Du syndrome usually occurs in one to two children out of a hundred children who are diagnosed with epilepsy. Du syndrome is caused due to genetic mutations. Du syndrome can occur in children who have a family history of epilepsy or early onset epilepsy, usually between the ages of one and five. Boys are more likely to have Du syndrome than girls. According to the article, Clinical and Genetic Characteristics of Patients with Du syndrome, the following variants were found in the participants of the study. SLC6A1. Mutations of this gene cause a spectrum of neurodevelopmental disorders, including childhood onset epilepsy, developmental delays, movement disorders, and features of autism spectrum disorder. HNR and PU. Mutations of this gene result in developmental delay and intellectual disability, usually moderate to severe, with speech language delay and or absent speech. SCN1A. Mutations of this gene result in generalized epilepsy, febrile seizures, and epileptic encephalopathy. STS. Mutations of this gene result in X-linked ichthysosis. Children with Du syndrome can have one or hundreds of seizures per day. More often, it happens during the daytime and children who have Du syndrome need constant supervision. Other health issues can develop, which can result in difficulty in learning and developmental delays, trouble with coordination, difficulty expressing themselves, and unclear speech can occur in children with Du syndrome. Du syndrome can have long-term effects on someone's health. Examples are physical injuries, breathing difficulties, and other situations that can require immediate medical attention. Usually, a child exhibiting symptoms of Du syndrome would have a family history associated with epilepsy. Du syndrome can be diagnosed using diagnostic test results as the children would usually have a normal physical examination, electroencephalogram or EEG. An EEG test usually lasts for an hour and is a non-invasive brainwave test used to measure the electrical activity of the child's brain in real time. This test usually requires small metal plates to be placed on the child's scalp, and this would help in detecting the electrical pattern of the child's brain. A spike would be observed in children with Du syndrome. Diagnostic studies. Other types of brain imaging could be used as a diagnostic tool, such as a CT scan or an MRI of the brain. Other medical tests would include blood work and urine analysis, and if advised by the doctor, a lumbar puncture would be required to rule out any other causes of epilepsy. Due to the severity of Du syndrome, it is difficult to treat it. Anticonvulsant medications, which are used to treat focal epilepsy, are not used in this case. 
Some of the commonly used anti-epileptic drugs include Depakote, Lamictal, and Keppra. In addition to this, there are a few other treatment options, including steroid medications like ACTH, prednisone, or dexamethasone. Steroids are used to decrease inflammation and could affect hormonal levels, and it is suggested that improvements are related to these actions. Maintaining a ketogenic diet is considered one of the strategies that could help. In conclusion, Du syndrome is a very rare type of epilepsy that affects children during early childhood. It was initially known as myoclonic ecstatic epilepsy and myoclonic atonic epilepsy. Children with Du syndrome can have multiple seizures a day, affecting learning and developmental milestones. Du syndrome is difficult to treat, but options such as anticonvulsant medication, steroid medications, and the keto diet can help. To learn more about Du syndrome, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.